The Syrian government says this is evidence that the country is at war with what it calls terrorists. Two back-to-back -back explosions hit the capital Damascus early on Friday. The targets, two state security service bases. State television showed pictures of the destruction that killed scores of people, many civilians. The suicide car bombings, the first of their kind since the uprising began in March, coincided with a visit by a team of Arab League observers. The team visited the attack sites. The government says the bombers could be linked to al-Qaeda. The head of the Free Syrian Army denied any involvement in the bombings. We don't have this kind of technical capabilities. We only have light arms. Yes, we attacked an intelligence base in Harasta, close to Damascus, a few weeks ago. We did that to free prisoners inside. Our attacks have only been to defend the protesters. The opposition has struck at Syrian government targets in the past. This video appears to show a tank being hit by an improvised explosive device in Homs. Many in the opposition believe that the government is responsible for the bombings in Damascus. They say the Syrian state is only trying to show the international community that it is being attacked by what it calls terrorists. There are more than a few skeptics. It happened a day after the observers arrived. It took place in a highly secure area. And how did they know al-Qaeda was responsible, just minutes after it happened? Despite the bombings, anti-government protesters held rallies across the country. They denounced the Arab League peace plan, calling it a protocol of death and a license to kill. Syrian opposition activists believe the Arab League's observer mission will only stall tougher action against the Syrian government. They want the Arab League to immediately refer the Syrian crisis to the UN Security Council. They are demanding foreign intervention. Syrian government leaders accuse the opposition of pushing for foreign military action instead of dialogue. They say the Arab observers will see for themselves that the situation in Syria is complex. With the bombings in Damascus, a complex situation just got more complicated. Zerhuder Al Jazeera, Hatay, Southern Turkey.